Carl Young. Oh my God! Can't believe it. Space is not an easy place to travel through. Science fiction and space operas may lead you to believe that space travel is as simple as sailing a ship. This may work on the sea, but not in space. Not only is there gravity, your destination constantly moving, and the utter vastness of space to worry about, but there is also the noticeable lack of oxygen in the void of space, making most conventional forms of propulsion obsolete. As a result of this conundrum, scientists and engineers have developed both old and new forms of propulsion capable of navigating the vast frontiers of space, all with their own pros and cons. Zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. One of the more conventional forms of space propulsion is the liquid fuel rocket. The liquid fuel motor is fairly simple in concept. Separate liquid fuel and oxidizer are pumped into a combustion chamber and then ignited. The ensuing reactions create hot gases that are then expelled out of the throat and nozzle of the rocket, producing thrust. The pros of the liquid fuel rocket are that they are powerful, can be throttled and shut down, it can even be reused in some cases. Concerning cons, however, these rockets are complex, fuel inefficient, and use volatile fuels that require very strict safety measures. But thanks to their versatility, liquid fuel rockets are used in many applications, from orbital launch platforms to even interplanetary travel. Meanwhile, one of the oddest and newest forms of space propulsion is the electric ion thruster. The concept of an ion engine is drastically different from its chemical contemporaries. Atoms are injected into a magnetic field and then bombarded with electrons. This causes the atoms to turn into an ion, which is then propelled by the magnetic field, producing thrust. The pros of the ion engine is that it incorporates easily recharged electricity for its process and is extremely efficient. For cons, however, the ion thruster is extremely weak and can consume more electricity than the solar panels can produce. Due to their poor thrust, ion thrusters are limited in their uses to low gravity environments and long range travel, a task that it excels in. <laughs> 